Astronomers have observed a dramatic collision between two massive galaxy clusters. Its name starts with Max. In this collision, dark matter was astonishingly separated from normal matter, which challenges our understanding of the universe's basic makeup. In this video, we'll explore how this epic cosmic crash offers new insights into the mysterious nature of dark matter and what it reveals about the universe's vast structures. So without further ado, let's get started. Picture two gigantic clusters of galaxies, each swirling with cosmic objects and held together by gravity, rushing toward each other at incredible speeds. This is what happens with the galaxy clusters in max collision. Despite the intense collision, the galaxies themselves mostly stay intact because they are so far apart. However, the hot gas clouds surrounding these galaxies tell a different story. When these gas clouds collide, they don't just pass by each other. They interact and become extremely hot and turbulent, creating a stunning display of light and energy. To understand this cosmic event, astronomers use several advanced methods. One key technique is the kinetic sunyaev zeldovich effect. It helps them see how gas clouds move by measuring changes in the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is leftover light from the Big Bang. When this ancient light passes through hot gas, it gets a small energy boost from colliding with hot electrons. Measuring this boost helps astronomers figure out how fast the gas is moving and learn about the distribution of mass and energy in the area. Another method is gravitational lensing, which helps astronomers map out dark matter by observing how light from distant galaxies bends around the massive clusters. This method acts like a cosmic magnifying glass, bending the light to reveal the invisible mass that dark matter contributes. It provides a silhouette of the dark matter, outlining its gravitational influence and allowing scientists to see where the mass truly lies. Finally, there are X-ray observations. Tools like NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory peer into the violent collisions of gas clouds, revealing their high-energy interactions. These X-rays tell a story of temperature and chaos, providing a thermometer for the cosmic collision. X-ray observations are crucial because the hot gas in the clusters emits X-rays, and by studying these emissions, astronomers can determine the gas's temperature, density, and how it is distributed within the cluster. For this collision, data from radio, optical, and X-ray observatories converge to provide a comprehensive picture of it. This multi-wavelength approach is important for understanding the dynamics at play allowing scientists to piece together the sequence of events that lead to the observed decoupling of dark and normal matter. This collision is like a natural experiment on a scale that we can't replicate on Earth. Dark matter doesn't give off light or interact with electromagnetic forces, and this is what makes it invisible. We can only detect it through its gravitational pull on other objects. In this big collision, while normal matter like gases, stars, and planets slowed down and interacted, dark matter acted differently. It passed through the collision without being affected by electromagnetic forces. To understand the importance of this collision, let's look back at the bullet cluster, another galaxy cluster collision that first showed dark matter's unique behavior. In the bullet cluster, scientists used gravitational lensing to see that dark matter moved through the collision without interacting with normal matter. This was key evidence for the existence of dark matter. Now, let's connect this to our current discovery. The behavior of dark matter in these collisions challenges our understanding of gravity and particle physics. Normal matter interacts through both electromagnetism and gravity. Otherwise, dark matter seems to interact only through gravity. This means dark matter doesn't slow down or heat up during collisions, allowing it to pass through untouched which suggests that dark matter might be made of particles that are very different from those that make up normal matter. One of the biggest takeaways from these observations is the possibility of discovering new physics beyond what we currently know. Our current understanding, called the Standard Model of Particle Physics, explains the basic particles and forces in the universe, but it doesn't explain dark matter. The way dark matter behaves in galaxy cluster collisions suggests there could be new particles or forces that we haven't found yet. Theoretical physicists are exploring different ideas to explain how dark matter works. 
Some think that dark matter particles might interact with each other through a very weak force, similar to electromagnetism. Others believe dark matter could be made up of several types of particles. These theories are being tested using data from events like this collision, helping scientists figure out which ideas are correct and improving our understanding of dark matter. Let's understand together the dynamics of galaxy clusters, which form due to the gravitational attraction between galaxies. Over time, smaller groups of galaxies merge, creating larger structures. Gravity pulls these galaxies together, shaping the clusters we observe today. These clusters are predominantly composed of dark matter, which makes up about 85% of their mass. Within galaxy clusters, hot gases made mostly of hydrogen and helium fill the gaps between galaxies. This gas, along with stars and planets, makes up about 15% of the cluster's total mass, known as normal matter. A good example of this is seen in the bullet cluster, where during a collision, this normal matter lagged behind the dark matter. The collision in Max is somewhat similar, but with a unique difference. The orientation of this collision is rotated about 90 degrees compared to the bullet cluster. This new angle, with one massive cluster heading almost directly toward Earth and the other moving away, allowed scientists to measure the speeds of both dark and normal matter for the first time. To further understand the collision dynamics, John Zuhone of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian helped the team simulate the cluster smash-up. These simulations, combined with data from various telescopes, helped determine the geometry and evolutionary stage of the cluster encounter. The scientists found that, before colliding, the clusters were moving toward each other at approximately 3,000 kilometers per second, roughly 1% of the speed of light. With this complete picture, researchers figured out why dark matter and normal matter appeared to be traveling in opposite directions. Though it's hard to visualize, the collision's orientation and the separation of dark and normal matter explain these odd velocity measurements. In the future, researchers hope studies like this will lead to new clues about the mysterious nature of dark matter. As Silic explains, this study is a starting point for more detailed studies into the nature of dark matter. We have a new type of direct probe that shows how dark matter behaves differently from normal matter. Thank you for watching. The journey ahead is filled with potential for groundbreaking insights, and the study of cosmic collisions will undoubtedly play a central role in our quest to understand the cosmos. Stay curious, and stay tuned for more incredible revelations about the universe we all call home.